Hi everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another speed build. And it's not like the other speed builds I've done before because this one is actually a base game only build. So a while ago on Twitter I posted a poll on what video you guys would like to see most and most of you voted for a base game speed build. So that's what we're doing today. If you're not following me on Twitter yet, feel free to do so. Um, my account is at Simmingbird and I'm quite active on there. So if you want to be up to date with everything that I'm doing, you can follow me on Twitter. Anyways, this build is a family home. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do when I started this, but it turned out to be quite a big family home. So it ends up having five bedrooms and three bathrooms and what I imagine is that um, there is a mother living here she has divorced her ex-husband and now lives here with her teenage daughter um, a child which is probably a boy and a toddler which is a girl and also uh, her mother, so the kid's grandmother, lives here as well because I imagine that the grandmother couldn't really take care of herself anymore and she wasn't very mobile anymore so they converted one of the rooms on the ground floor into a bedroom so that grandma could live on their ground floor you know, so they could take care of her and she wouldn't have to deal with stairs anymore so that's why she's living here so the living room and the kitchen end up be being very light as in uh, light blue colors white um, you know just very light and then the the bedroom of the grandmother is a bit more old-fashioned because she took her old furniture from her old house with her so that's why there is a bit of a style clash over there. And um, let me tell you how much I struggled with this build. It was much. <laughs> you know, some people say like building base game builds isn't a challenge because there's a lot you can do with base game. There's a lot of stuff and there's a lot of, you know, things you can do when you're creative. And this is all true. However, when you're not an experienced builder, like myself, that is difficult. You know, those kind of tips and tricks that people do to make base game interesting. Uh, I don't know those. I don't know much about building in The Sims, so I can't really come up with those creative ideas that people are talking about. So yeah, I, um, I tried my best. Um, am I saying this is my best build ever? No. But I am glad I tried this and that I finished it even though I wasn't really feeling it while I was doing this. Um, I'm glad I pushed through and actually did a base game build because I didn't think I could do it, but I did it anyway. So, yeah. Just let me say this right now before I forget. If you are going to download this build and put it in your game please activate the bb.move objects cheat before placing it down because i use that cheat a lot and if you don't activate it before placing it things will move and get deleted from the build and it doesn't look like i made it so um yeah don't forget to do that as I've said before in other videos, my mind goes here, there and everywhere. So I am not the person that starts on one room and then finishes that room uh, and then moving on to the next one. No, I just, I'm everywhere placing something in that room then and then that room and then that room and I'm coming back to the, you know, I'm just all over the place, but um, that's just how I am. So that's what we're doing today as well. Uh, I had to cut out so much because of that, because I was trying so many things, not liking it, deleting it, um, changing up things all the time and 
uh, going from one room to the other and it's not making sense sometimes so I really had to edit out a lot um, and just edit a lot in general but um, I think it's all right now I mean it's 20 minutes so it's fine anyway the things you see me placing here these uh, artworks they are not CC this build is completely custom content free but they are um, I, I didn't know about this, but apparently this is when uh, people put custom content in their game, then have a sim with very high painting skill, paint from reference, and paint that custom content thing on um, just on a normal painting. And then they upload those paintings to the gallery and you can download them and you have like custom paintings, but they're not custom content. So that is all the walls and paintings that I have in the garden. I really wanted to experiment with that. So there's like um, kitchen themed paintings in the kitchen. And there is one painting of a boat above the television. Um, because I thought it, it really suited the vibe of the living room. So that's what I did. I believe everything that I used is by Jewel64. So if you search uh, Jewel, spelled like J-U-W-E-L 64 on the gallery, you will be able to find these art pieces on the gallery too. Also, I haven't done this before, um, but I know that a lot of people on YouTube that make speed builds also post links to the uh, web version of the gallery so you can download the builds from there. Is that something that you guys want me to do too? Because if you want me to, I can. I personally don't really download that way, but if you do and you want me to put the links to the builds on the web gallery, then I will put them in my description. I'm not finishing my sentences and I don't know why, but um, you get what I mean. Also, I personally thought it was funny that there is a chicken in the windowsill in the dining room and then there's a rooster somewhere else as well i don't know why i like that so yeah we all know that i struggle with long voiceovers and especially uh, speed build voiceovers and i have more than 10 minutes left to talk so i was thinking what can i talk about and then um i was thinking about yesterday because when I'm recording is this, it is the 5th of May, and so yesterday it was the 4th of May, duh. But um, this is a bit of a weird week. I mean, internationally, the 4th of May is probably just the Star Wars day. I've seen uh, a few posts about, it, about that, like May the 4th be with you, that kind of stuff. But in the Netherlands, um, it is actually Remembrance of the Dead Day on the 4th of May. And the 5th of May is Liberation Day, so today is Liberation Day, you know, when I'm recording this. And then the 7th of May is my birthday, so this is a strange week because of all the measures that have been taken <laughs> in these strange times. So, in case you're interested, I'm going to talk a bit about Dutch culture thingies. Um, Normally on the 4th of May, so Remembrance of the Dead Day, we do ceremonies and uh, the biggest one is on the dam in Amsterdam and in the church there. And that is also broadcasted on TV so everyone can watch that. And there will be speeches and there is poetry recited and many people will, you know, put flowers at the the monument that is there in honor of all the people who died in World War II and all the wars afterwards. So basically during the day we remember and honor all the people that have died in the Second World War and all wars that have happened and are happening ever since. And the way we do that is by having this ceremony and there are ceremonies happening all over the country, but the the one on the dam is broadcasted and many people are watching that. 
And as I said, there's like speeches and poetry recited and flowers. Like the royal family will be there, the, the ministers. And right before 8 p.m. there will be... I had to look this up, but the tattoo or tap two will be played. It's like the like a, a particular song <laughs> played on the trumpet. I believe uh, the British have one called The Last Post. And I know that the US has one as well. But um, yeah, the Dutch one is played. And at 8 p.m. exactly, we will have two minutes of silence. So the whole country is silent in honor of those people that have died in the war. But of course, this couldn't happen. Like there couldn't be thousands of people coming to the dam and other monuments and places throughout the country because we can't during these times. And, you know, they had invited veterans to tell their stories, but you know, it's too dangerous for those old people to come. So there were some digital stories told and projected on the screen on the dam. And the king himself actually gave a speech this time and people that play the trumpet or another instrument that can, you know, play the, the tattoo or tap two were actually asked to open their windows, stand in the doorway and play this tap two, like all the people who can throughout the country to you know, create this uh, feeling of being together, even though we cannot be together, actually. And then afterwards, uh, the national anthem is sung. Um, and that's basically how Remembrance Day works in the Netherlands. And then on the 5th of May, there is Liberation Day. And usually Liberation Day means that most people are free of work because those two days are national holidays and there is just the whole country is in celebration. There is parties, there is music festivals, there is events everywhere. But of course, nothing of that could happen today. So it is a bit weird to not have that today. And then yesterday I was feeling a bit emotional because um, I am an emotional person and thinking of all the people that died is just sad and then people not being able to, to get together and, you know, share their grief that they may have because of course there's still a generation of people that have actually lived through the war and fought in the war and stuff like that and they cannot come together so that was a bit sad for me but um, yeah. That's that. And then <laughs> in two days, it will be my birthday. And usually I celebrate that with lots of family. And this time I can't. I am going to my parents with my boyfriend. My mom, her hobby is to make cakes and bake things and stuff and cooking, but mostly baking. And she makes the most amazing cakes. Like I'm not exaggerating. They are beautiful and they are delicious. You know, those beautiful cakes that you see people make on TV, they are that good and they are tastier than the ones you get from a bakery. So my mom wanted to make a cake for me. So we're going to go over there, have some coffee and eat cake and celebrate it that way. So yeah, this is a bit of a weird week. But to get back to the build, this is the room for the toddler i imagined it to be a girl it's very stereotypical pink but you know you can of course put any toddler in there it doesn't matter which gender it is but i said it <laughs> i mean him or her or they they um anyways <laughs> uh that is not my favorite room um you may have been a bit confused because i first furnished this particular room for the boy but then I was running out of space for the boy, the, the stuff that I wanted to put in the boy's room. So I moved the boy's room over to another room. But I didn't put that in the build because that was just unnecessary time. So that's why you didn't see that. And 
I also forgot to say that um, I imagine that this woman, the mother of the kids, has got a new boyfriend and he either comes over a lot or is living with them already. So in the master bedroom, the, it's very pink because the mother likes pink and she just made this room for her. And then this man came along in the... Uh, this man came into her life and, you know, he has to deal with this pink bath bedroom and she gave him like the corner of the room, like he has a desk there and with his guitar and his laptop so he can work if he needs to. And um, she was like, yeah, you can put something on the wall if you want to, but please just, you know, and then he decides to put up this <laughs> like film poster and she is very annoyed by the fact that he chose to hang a film poster on the wall because she's like that doesn't suit the vibe of the room like the the style of the room so she's quite annoyed by that but you know that's just how life is sometimes um <laughs> yeah that's the a little that's the this detailed story that I thought of when I was making that. I struggled so much with the landscaping. Like I skipped through a lot of it because I was changing it up all the time. But um, normally I don't really struggle with landscaping, but then of course I have a lot of lot more options like plants and bushes and trees. And now there's only a select, what's the word? There's only a few things I can choose from, so that made it really difficult for me to do the landscaping in the front of the house and also in the back of the house. I mean, they do have a pool, so um, that's nice. I, they shouldn't complain. But the backyard is a bit empty, but you can, you know, add things for yourself if you want to. Also, this is my very first base game build, so if you have some tips constructive criticism all that kind of stuff please let me know because I am always wanting to improve so leave your brutally honest opinions on this build in the comments down below and if you have ideas on any other speed builds that you want me to do please let me know as well I'm always open to new ideas so we're almost at the end of the video so I just want to say that this build will be on the gallery so you can download it if you want to uh, you can find it by looking for the gallery id simmingbird or the hashtag simmingbird and don't forget to use the bb.move objects cheat before placing it down if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already all my social media links will be in the description if you want to follow me elsewhere too if you want to see the screenshots, please keep watching until the very end. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.